Hello, this is Pat Harold from the Chromex Tech Support Department with another installment of our Tips and Tricks for ColorThink. Tips and Tricks in 5 Minutes or Less. This, this one I call Pushing Numbers Through a Profile. I've got a measurement of a target. I might not even know where it came from. It doesn't matter. I also have a profile of my printer or press. I would like to know how far off this measurement will be from this profile. But these are apples and oranges. I can't compare a measurement to a profile. Or can I? This is what we at Chromix call pushing numbers through a profile. You will have many occasions to use this in your work. Say you have your own in-house control strip or QC target that you print to get an idea if your color is okay today. But now a new industry standard color space has come out in the form of a profile and you want to start comparing your work to this new profile. Or maybe you have just profiled your Epson printer and you want to see how a particular target will look ahead of time without having to actually print and measure a target print. Well, here's a three row quality control strip. I don't know what standard the company was printing to before, but now the boss says we need to print to Grackle 2013. So we had some guy come in and set up everything to print to Grackle 2013. So he's gone now and I want to know how well he did, how close my printers are. I've got a recent measurement of my three row quality control strip. I bring it into ColorThink Pro and it automatically opens into the worksheet. Now this contains CMYK values, device values, and it has spectral values or lab values, which actually define what the colors look like. Well, let's save the list back out and only include the CMYK values. Notice that this is very a very simple text file in the CGATS formatting and that only contains CMYK numbers. When I bring this back into ColorThink, it'll open up again with just the CMYK values. Some astute subscribers to ColorThink will ask, hey, where do all these colors come from if there are no lab or spectral values to define these colors? Well, ColorThink does apply a default profile to these numbers so that you can actually have something to see. Otherwise, there'd just be a bunch of blank, boring numbers here. But as you can see, there is actually no profile officially signed to these numbers. Let's add the Grackle 2013 profile. And you might notice the patch change color slightly. And we now have lab values. This file can now be saved out with the CMYK and the lab values connected. If you want to use this file as a color aim to compare all your prints to, you'd want to use the absolute colorimetric rendering intent so that the new white point reflects the actual white point of Grackle 2013. But let's take a look at what we're doing here. We're starting with CMYK values only. And then a profile is added, which defines how those CMYK numbers turn out as colors because of the profile. You're essentially predicting beforehand what you'll ideally expect this printer to do with these device values. We're pushing numbers through the profile. And notice I can do this with any collection of patches, a control strip, a profiling target, a P2P target. The same thing can be done in the RGB world. If I have a little target of RGB patches that I run through my inkjet printer, I can bring them in here and apply the profile of my printer and see what actual color values I should get using this media type and this printer ahead of time. I'll save this out and call it my silver rag color aim. Then I can use this to track my color day to day, see how it compares to the ideal as predicted by the profile. If this is a custom profile I made myself, these comparisons should be pretty close. When you're calibrating your monitor and the software goes through a profile validation check at the end or something, this is essentially the same thing. The software is comparing what the measurement puck will get measuring the colors off the screen with what it expects to get based on pushing those RGB numbers through the profile it just made for your display. Pushing numbers through a profile can be used when you want to generate a list of colors that are all in gamut for a certain profile 
It can be used to evaluate the proofing direction of a profile or a render direction of a profile or a quick way to generate pseudo measurements, files that you can use as measurements. Anytime you want to simulate what a target or a color list will look like before you print it, or if you want to get an ideal representation of what a profile will produce on a specific collection of patches, this is the way to go. Join us next time for Tips and Tricks with ColorThink. <laughs>